and you are live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, happy Earth Day and welcome to Aqua Smart Live. It's the show that can teach you how to be safe when you are in and around California's waterways. Now, won't you please put your hands together for the host of Aqua Smart Live, me, Revo the Otter. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, all of my friends out there celebrating Earth Day. Man, what a beautiful day we've got to celebrate a beautiful planet. Welcome, everyone. I hope some of you guys got to see the uh, the 8, 8, 8 a.m. program, Take Three for the Sea. Oh, that was brilliant. And I am not a morning person, as Jennifer and I were discussing. But I got up and I saw that and, oh, Really, really fun. But of course, I am not here <laughs> to talk about Take Three for the Sea. I am here to talk about how to keep you safe when you are in and around California's waterways. Now, when we're talking about California waterways, uh, we're not talking about your bathtub. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That does not qualify as an official California waterway. No, we are, of course, talking about lakes rivers, streams, and of course the ocean. And there's there's so many fun things to do around the water. You know, I love to go down to the river and do a little bit of kayaking. I love to go to the lake and do some fishing too. Oh, you know what I really love to do? I love to go down to the beach and build sandcastles and, and play in the waves and oh, white water rafting. Oh, so many fun things to do. But uh, you know, there's a uh, there's lots of things you've got to learn to do to keep yourself safe. And I've, uh, well, I've brought a couple of my friends here with me today to teach you guys why it's so important to be safe when you're around the water. I brought Joe and Charlie. They are the Aqua Smart Stunt Dummy. So, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, won't you please put your hands together for Joe and Charlie, the Aqua Smart Stunt Dummies. Boys, take a bow. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You guys all right? No, just put a put a band-aid on that. You'll be fine. No direct pressure will stop the well, that's Joe and Charlie. <laughs> They're gonna show us what happens when you're not safe in the water. And how we're going to do this is by using our Aqua Smart stunt dummy scenes. <laughs> in these scenes, Joe and Charlie will be the actor, and I will be the director. I will say lights, camera, action, and our stunt dummies will perform the scene. Now, like I said, there's lots of things you've got to learn to do to keep yourself safe. And the very first thing you've got to learn to do, of course, is learn to swim. Now I've I've had people ask me before they've said revo why do i need to learn how to swim i mean what if i'm going out in a boat what if i'm going out in a boat like this why do i need to learn how to swim well i'm going to show you why in our first aqua smart stunt dummy scene now in this scene joe is going out in this boat to do a little bit of fishing but he's never taken swimming lessons <laughs> dun 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 that makes it more dramatic. All right, let's take a look at Aqua Smart scene number one. Lights, camera, action. Oh, what a beautiful day to do some fishing. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, doing a little bit of fishing. Love the fishing. You can't go wrong with the fishing. You know, I've never taken swimming lessons. Why would I take swimming lessons? I'm in a boat. The boat floats. Why do I need to learn how to swim, please? <laughs> Although maybe I should take some fishing lessons. I haven't caught a thing all day. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, feels like that's about to change. Feels like I got a big one on the line. I better reel it in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Psh, help, I'm in the water. Help, I'm in the water and I don't know how to swim. Help. And cut. 
He fell right out of the boat. And because he didn't know how to swim, well, he couldn't swim back to the boat. He was in real danger. <laughs> now, that was just an accident. But you guys, accidents happen all the time, especially around the water. And, and, and if you don't know how to swim, well, even if you're not planning on going in the water, you still might end up in the water. And if you don't know how to swim, well, you could be in real danger. That's why it's so important that you learn to swim. Learn to swim. Hey, everyone at home, say that with me on the count of three, nice and loud. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Learn to swim. Well, I hope you guys do. <laughs> I hope you get those swimming lessons. Yeah, I also hope you remember to wear a life jacket. <laughs> now, I've had people ask me before they've said, Revo, why do I need to wear a life jacket? I mean, what if I've taken my swimming lessons? What if I'm a really good swimmer? Why do I need to wear a life jacket, Will? <laughs> I'm going to show you why in our next stunt dummy scene. <laughs> now, in this scene, Joe has taken his swimming lessons. Good for him. But... He's not wearing a life jacket. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here we go. Lights, camera, action. Oh, what a beautiful day to do some sailing. I'll just go ahead and put up the old sail here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's getting kind of breezy too. Huh? Hey, hey, cut that out. Hey, hey, cut that out. <laughs> I should cut that out. Oh, silly sail. Oh. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Whoa! Shoo! Look, 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 look. And cut! You got bonked on the head by the sail. And if you get knocked out, well, you're not going to remember what you learned in swimming lessons. If you get knocked out, you're not going to remember much. <laughs> but if Joe over there were wearing his life jacket, he would have floated even if he got knocked out. <laughs> you see, that's the magic of a life jacket. It keeps you floating with your face out of the water. <laughs> but getting knocked out isn't the only reason you need to wear a life jacket. No, there are other reasons, too. Hey, Let's look at this next scene. We'll see another reason why it's important to wear a life jacket. Lights, camera, action. Oh, what a beautiful day to do some swimming. And I have taken my swimming lessons. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I'll just jump right into the water here. And whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I better check and see how cold the water is. Let's see how cold is the water here. <laughs> Oh, that's cold. But I like swimming in cold water. I'm going in. Uh, here I go. A one, a two, a three. Swim, swim, swim. A swim, a swim, swim, swim. I feel like a polar bear in this cold water. Know what I mean? A swim, a swim. Brr, very cold. Brr, very, very cold. I better swim back to the boat, but I'm getting so cold and so tired. And brr, ooh, glug, 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 glug. And cut. Well, he was swimming just fine at first, and then he started to shiver. I tell you, that's what cold water can do to you. It, it can zap your energy and make you too tired to swim. But if Joe were wearing a life jacket, he would have floated even if he got too tired to swim. So wear a life jacket. It'll keep you floating even if you get too tired to swim. Wear a life jacket. It'll keep you floating even if, uh, even if you forget your swimming lessons. <laughs> wear a life jacket. It'll keep you floating even if you get knocked out wear a life jacket hey, everyone at home say that with me on the count of three nice and loud here we go ready one two three wear a life jacket well, I hope you guys do. <laughs> I hope you wear your life jacket the right way, too. That means you've got it on and buckled up whenever you are in or around the water. Hey, uh, let's see what happens to Joe when he doesn't have his life jacket buckled up in the front. Lights, camera, action. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shay, wait a second. Boing, boing, boing. My life jacket. Life jacket, where'd you go? Life, life jacket, what are you doing over there? You're supposed to be on my body. You get back over here, you silly life jacket. You, I, ooh, look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. And cut. 
His life jacket came off his body. And a life jacket can't save your life if it doesn't stay on your body. <laughs> and now Joe's life jacket came off his body because uh, because it wasn't buckled up in the front. So you always want to make sure your life jacket is buckled up and the straps are tightened in the front. But did you know, if you've got a life jacket that's too big for you, like your mom or your dad's life jacket, well, that life jacket could come off your body even if it's all buckled up. Now, uh... I know how to make sure life jackets fit otters just right, but uh, hey, uh, are, are you guys out there? Are, are are you otters? No. Well, you otter be. <laughs> you otter be, because I'm an. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one laughing. Awkward. All right, I I do have a couple of special friends that are gonna that are gonna uh, live stream in with me today for Earth Day. And uh, hey, uh, Matt, Lily, are you guys out there somewhere? Matt. Oh, good. There's my friend Matt. Hey, Matt. All right, can you hear me? Give me a wave. Oh, good. And that's Matt's daughter, Lily. Lily, can you give me a wave if you can hear me too? It. Oh, great. All right, good. I'm so glad you guys are here for Earth Day. Lily, I've got a question for you. Have you ever tried on a life jacket before? Excellent. Oh, I'm so glad it's you here today. Great. All right. Well, Lily, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the life jacket on. So go ahead and stick your arms in there. There's, a, there's one arm. There's your other arm. One more arm, Lily. Get that third arm in there. All right, you just have two arms. All right, that's that's plenty. That's plenty. <laughs> all right, next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and buckle up your life jacket. We all saw what happened to Joe when he did not have his life jacket buckled up. It came off his body. And a life jacket, of course, cannot save your life if it does not stay on your body. Is that right, you guys? That is right. You cannot stay on your body. Matt, maybe you could help her buckle up her life jacket. Oh, I guess she's got it all by herself. All right, Lily, go ahead and tighten up the straps on your life jacket now, too. Matt, maybe you could help with this part. Or not. You're just going to stand there and watch. Matt. Are you going to help at all, Matt? Maybe, no? Come on. All right, Matt. I'm putting you to work now. I am going to have you lift up on the shoulders of Lily's life jacket. And what we here in the audience are going to do, we're going to watch the bottom of Lily's ears. If the life jacket goes right up to the bottom of her ears, it means that that life jacket fits. If it goes any higher than the bottom of her ears, it means that that life jacket is too big and she needs a different size. So, um, Lily, give me a thumbs up if you are ready to test your life jacket. Thumbs up. Excellent. Matt, give me a thumbs up if you are ready. All right, everyone. Keep your eyes on the bottom of Lily's ears. Matt, lift up on that life jacket. We'll see what. Whoa, 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 whoa didn't just go above the bottom of her ears. It practically went above the top of her head. Hey, Lily, do me a favor. Put your arms up in the air like you're jumping into the water. Nice job. All right, <laughs> Matt, lift up on the shoulders of her life jacket now. We're going to see what could happen to any of us if we were to jump into the water with a life jacket that's too big. It could come off our body. And a life jacket cannot save our lives if it does not stay on our bodies. Matt, get rid of that life jacket. Lily needs a different size. Don't hit the cat with it. No, oh boy. All right. You guys, give me a thumbs up if you know how to make sure your life jacket fits you. Good. Give some kooky craziness to the people out there for Earth Day. Oh, that might be too much kooky craziness. <laughs> you guys are great. Matt and Lily, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Happy Earth Day to you. <laughs> Matt and Lily, two of the best human beings on this planet. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's how you make sure your life jacket fits you just right. You put it on, you buckle it up, you tighten up the straps, and then you have a grown-up pull up on the shoulders of your life jacket. If the life jacket goes right up to the bottom of your ears, it fits. If it goes any higher than the bottom of your ears, well, it means that that life jacket is too big big and you need a different size wear a life jacket wear it the right way now i am going to talk to you all a little bit about canals uh, not canoes Canoes are a type of boat. <laughs> I'm talking about canals. And canals are man-made waterways used to move water from one place to another. And they, uh, well, they usually look like cement rivers. Hey, do we have any footage of canals? Can you can you show that, please? Oh, there we go. All right, that's a canal right there. And we got another canal here. You can see it kind of looks like a cement river, right? Oh, that's a big old canal down in Southern California. And here's one that runs up the uh, the spine of California. That's the California aqueduct. Well, those are all canals and canals are very dangerous. And that's why you want to stay away from canals. I'm going to show you how dangerous they are in our next stunt dummy scene. <laughs> now, in this scene, we're going to put Charlie into the act. He's got his swimming lessons. He's wearing a life jacket, but... He's going for a swim in a canal. And we're going to pretend that, uh, that up there is a canal. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Lights, camera, action. 
Oh, what a beautiful day to go for a swim in a canal. Woo! Swim, a swim, a swim. A swim, a swim, some swim. A swim, a swim, a Charlie. That sounds like my mother. It's your mother. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I wonder what she wants. It's dinner time. Oh, dinner time. I, I hope she made my favorite. I made your favorite, yes, pepperoni pizza, a pepperoni pizza, a pepperoni pizza, meatloaf, yeah, meatloaf, I don't like meatloaf, well, I better go home anyways, let's see, I'll just uh, I'll climb out over on this side of the canal, hey, 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 hey. <sighs> couldn't get out, too slippery, well, I'll try this side over here, I did, I did, I did. whoa, <laughs> Couldn't get out on that side either. I can't get out of this canal. The sides are too steep and slippery. <sighs> that sounds like a big wave of water. <gasps> oh no, a big wave of water! And cut! My goodness, canals are so dangerous. Well, well, uh, well, once he climbed into the canal, he couldn't get back out because the sides were too steep and slippery. Uh, that's one of the dangers of canals is once you get in, you might not be able to get back out. And then there was a, a little trickle of water in the canal one minute and the next minute a big wave came and swept him away. That's another danger of canals is there going to be a little bit of water one minute and the next minute a big wave of water can come and sweep you away. That's why it's so important to stay away from canals. You never want to go swimming or playing around or in a canal. Stay away from canals. Everyone, say that with me on the count of three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Stay away from canals. Well, I hope you guys do. I hope you stick to safer waterways. And when you go in those safer waterways, I hope you remember to use your eyes. You've got to look before you leap. I'll tell you what you're looking for. You're looking for any dangers that might be in the water that could hurt you. Hey, let's see what happens to uh, to Charlie when he's not looking before he's leaping. Lights, camera, action. Oh, what a beautiful day to do some swimming. And I have taken my swimming lessons. And I am wearing my life jacket. And it's the right size. And it's all buckled up. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I guess there's only one more thing for me to do. I'm going to jump right in here to my favorite swimming hole. Who I know. I'll do my super duper suplex dive. A one, a two, a three. Whoa! Oh! Oh! I hit my head on a log. Ooh. Ooh. And cut! If he would have just used his eyes and looked, he would have seen there was a log there, wouldn't have bonked his head on it. You've got to look before you leap. And you never want to jump head first into a waterway either. That's just asking for trouble. Look before you leap. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you can't always see the dangers that are in the water. And that's why they put up danger signs. Signs that say there's dangers you might not be able to see just by looking. Hey, Let's see what happens to Charlie when he's not looking for the danger signs. Here we go. Lights, camera, action. Our first danger sign says, no swimming. Well, I'm just going to jump right in here to the lake and go for a swim. Woo! Swim, swim, swim. Hey, ow, 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 broken glass. Ow, my feet. Whoa! Our next danger sign says, Fast current. Well, I'm just going to jump right in here to the river and go for a swim. Woo! Our last danger sign says, Sharks. Well, I'm just going to jump right in here to the ocean and go for a swim. Woo! Swim, a swim, a swim. A swim, a swim, swim, swim. A swim, a swim. A forget the feeling like you're being watched. <laughs> that can be especially creepy in the ocean because it could be one of them. <laughs> because it could be one of them. <laughs> well, it could be one of them. Shark and cut. 
So you got to look for dangers in the water. You've got to look for danger signs. You've got to look before you leap. Look before you leap. Everyone say that with me on the count of three. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Look before you leap. Well, I hope you do. I hope you use those eyes. <laughs> now, it is, of course, Earth Day, and uh, we've been talking a lot about how to keep you safe in and around California's waterways, but I think it might be just time to talk a little bit about how to keep California waterways safe. We've got to keep our waterways clean. <laughs> uh, did you know that every year over 18 billion pounds of plastic enters our oceans? Ugh. That's like emptying a garbage truck of plastic into the ocean every minute. Oh, and that doesn't even account for all of the other litter and garbage that goes in our waterways. Well, uh, how does all of this garbage and litter enter our waterways? Well, unfortunately, it all comes from human beings. You see, wherever human beings litter, even if they're hundreds of miles away from the water, well, that garbage, that litter, that plastic can enter our waterways. You see, it can go right down a storm drain, and from there it can go into California streams, California's rivers, California's lakes, Man, that could make it all the way out to the ocean. And the ocean's where I live. And I certainly don't want to live where that thing's ending up. And I don't want to go playing in something like that or swimming in something like that or fishing in something like that. Blah, so much garbage. Well, I hope you're asking yourself on this beautiful Earth Day what you can do to help. And fortunately, there's a lot that you can do. First, you can make sure you put all of your garbage in its proper receptacle. And you can make sure that you put your recyclables in their proper bins as well. In fact, better yet, you could use less single-use plastic items like plastic water bottles, plastic forks, knives, and spoons, plastic lids, and cups, and forks. And instead, you could use things like reusable water bottles, reusable bags. Heck, you could even use reusable straws. Because the less we use, well, the less is going to end up in our waterways. So you, yes, you personally can help keep our waterways clean by disposing of what you use properly and by using less. Less. Heck, in the last program, I saw a straw made from avocado pits. Whoa, that is so cool. So help keep our waterways clean. Keep our waterways clean. Everyone say that with me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Keep our waterways clean. Well, I hope you do your part. <laughs> you guys, I'm a little worried about our stunt dummies. They got pretty beat up in the show. Hey, Joe, Charlie, can one of you come up here for a second, please? Yo, Revo, uh, what do you, 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 what do you want? Hey, are you guys all right? <laughs> of course, we're all right, Revo. We are stunt dummies, you know, puppets. <laughs> we're supposed to show the kids out there what not to do in the water. But you know what? What? Those kids out there in California, they are not stunt dummies. If they're not safe in the water, well, they could get really hurt. Yeah, or worse. You're right. <laughs> Maybe you ought to give them the quiz. Huh? Wait, wait. Well, wait a second. They're spread out all over the place, and we're here in Sacramento. How am I supposed to hear them when they give their answers? Oh, uh, hey, I got you covered here. I got these little tiny wireless earbuds down here. Oh, here they are. Here, here, here. here. Put this one in that ear, and this one in your other ear, and now you should be able to hear them when they say their answers. Uh, uh, all right. Hey, thanks a lot, Charlie. You're welcome, Revo. All right, well, uh, let's make this official. Hey, bring the red curtain back in, please. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready for the Aqua Smart Quiz. Yay! Now, uh, how am I going to? Oh, I got it. Here's how I will do it. I will ask a question. And at the end of the question, I will say one, two, three. And when I get to three, uh, you all can say your answers. And that way you'll say them all together. And I uh, I should be able to hear you with these uh, this little earbuds. Is, is that right, Charlie? That is correct, Revo. All right, <clears throat> let's try question number one. What should you learn to do? What kind of lesson should you take before you go in or around the water? Say the answer if you know it on the count of three, everyone. Here we go, ready? <clears throat> one, two, three. Huh? Oh, oh. Oh, that was really loud. Uh, but you're right. You've got to learn to swim. You've got to take those swimming lessons. Oh, that was really loud. Hey, Charlie, can we turn the volume down on these earbuds, please? Sorry, Revo, just one volume. Uh, with, uh, 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 all right, all right, all right. You, you guys, here's question number two. But listen, uh, 
You don't have to say the answer so loud, all right? <sighs> all right, question number two. What should you wear to keep yourself safe whenever you are in or around the water? Say the answer if you know it on the count of three, everyone. Ready? One, two, three. Uh? Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's right. You've got to wear a life jacket, but you don't have to say it so loud. All right, question number three. Is it ever okay to swim or play in or around a canal? Is it ever okay to swim or play in a canal? Yes or no? On the count of three, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Huh? Whoa! Ouch. That's right. You've got to stay away from canals. All right, question number four. What should you do with your eyes before you go leaping into the water? Say the answer if you know it on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Huh? Whoa. That's right. Oh, you've got to look before you leap. All right, listen, listen, everyone. <laughs> I think my ears can only take one more answer from you guys. And, and this one, I'm going to make sort of an Earth Day question. So in this question, I'm going to make it a little different too. I, I want you to think of a way that you, you personally can help keep our waterways clean. Think of a way that you can help keep our, I'm going to think of a way to keep, a, think of a way of keep our waterways clean. All right, all right, I got my way. Now on the count of three, I want you to say your way. But listen, uh, you don't have to say it really loud, okay? All right, here we go. Think of your way and then, then get ready to say it. Uh, one. Oh, this is going to be so loud. Uh, two. Here we go. Three. Oh, those are all really good ways to keep our waterways clean you know what you kids are aqua smart give yourselves a big round of applause yay to you uh, well really well done everyone well listen i hope you all enjoy today and i hope you are all celebrating earth day in your in your very special way thanks so much for joining me my name is revo the otter i'm here with aqua smart live kids remember whenever you are in or around the water be safe be aqua smart. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you all later. Bye bye. The show's over. Stop watching.